what's up guys today we're taking a look at the mz1 xyles rail the mouse created by the master himself rocket jump ninja okay so i know that this mouse was released almost two years ago now but i wanted to see if the shape is actually designed to help you improve your aim when you open the box you'll find a personal letter from zai himself paper showing you how to customize your settings for your mouse and inside the black envelope you'll find an extra five sticker and a pair of ptfe mouse gates in case you need to replace it in the future now that we finished unboxing the mouse we'll take a look at the features of the mz1 as you can see this is the wired version of the mouse there is another mouse that he released that is wireless but still resembles the wired version with a few upgrades including a replaceable hump shell and an overall better build quality but still incorporates the mouse comfort grooves but that we see on the left and right mouse buttons so i've been using the mz1 for a couple of days now and i'm very impressed with the build quality and the thought behind creating this mouse you know as he said in the past shape is king it's not easy to create a brand new mouse shape and you have to give him respect for that now keeping that in mind the mz1 is created for zai therefore it will not be suitable for some people especially for those who grip the mouse like i do it's also important to note that this mouse functions without a software so everything you need to change in the mouse such as the dpi pulling rate the liftoff distance can be changed by pressing specific buttons on the mouse unfortunately it does mean you lose the ability to remap the buttons so if you want to map your key binds such as u and i to your mouse it will just not work you know, that's life but it has eight default dpi presets that you can cycle through directly on the mouse the papers we saw earlier shows you the specific buttons to change those settings as well if you happen to lose them, they'll be available to download in Extrify's main website. Now, the shape won't be for everyone, but it's ideal for a fingertip and for a claw grip except for palm grip since you'll need a decently small hands in order to grip it properly. The sides of the mouse are also slanted and the weight distribution is more in the front instead of the center of the mouse, making it somewhat difficult to always maintain a solid grip and balance while moving the mouse around. Now the cable of the mouse features the Extrify's EasyCord Pro, which is a new and improved cable from Extrify. This cable isn't close to, uh, let's say, Paracord, but it performs close enough, where it doesn't really hinder your performance in game. All right, now talking about technical specs, the MZ1 features the Pixar 3389 optical sensor. Although not the latest, it does provide you with the accuracy and consistency, scoring one of the lowest sensor latency of any mouse. Speaking of latency, the mouse clicks feels great and tactile featuring Kale's GM 8.0 switches for both left, right, and the side buttons as well. The scroll wheel itself is fantastic since it doesn't really have any underlying issues and it sounds amazing. Now, after using this for a couple of days, do I suggest it for everyone? For some people that want to change things up and completely get used to a different shape. Yes, of course. I haven't used a mouse quite like the MZ1, and it gives you a totally refreshing feeling when you hold it. And I think Zai, in collaboration with the Extrify, are heading on the right direction with this mouse. The MZ1 surprisingly improved my flicks, but you know, once again, I was very inconsistent. Most people will not be comfortable with gripping the mouse unless you completely devote yourself to learn it. It will take some time to completely get the shape down. So personally, I would just stick to a more safe and comfortable mouse such as the Pulsar X2 Mini or the Lam2 Mini, which are actually on the way as I'm making this video. So let me know if you want a review on those mouse as well, since most tech reviewers have a hard time comparing the two. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really appreciate everyone that stood around and listened to me talk about the MZ1. So make sure to stick around until the end to watch a quick and overly edited Deathmatch in Valorant. Peace. Was so, bitch, 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 was
Get in the bag, I see the 